Hello, I'm Tom with 2A Holster, here today to demonstrate some Kydex adjustments, heating, tightening, and loosening different Kydex holsters and components. Now, I'm wearing a camera today. It's the first time wearing it, so I'll try not to do the old bobblehead thing and, and uh, mess up this video too bad, so bear with me if you can. Anyway, so customers write me here and there. Um, about you know my holsters too tight my holsters too loose or you know something like that and that's what I want to demonstrate how to how to fix those kind of things today but we're gonna start off with um, you know what I tell customers when they do that first of all they can uh, easily send it back to me I'd be glad to adjust it take care of it and I certainly apologize for any problems uh, but a lot of folks like to do this by themselves or for themselves and I don't blame them a bit because it's well within uh, pretty much anybody's grasp to be able to do this. Uh, so when that's the case and they want to do it, um, I just tell them a few simple things. One, I recommend leather gloves. Uh, simply a $10 pair of cheap leather gloves to protect your hands, help you hold, handle the hot kydex, and that's, that's imperative, I feel like. And the other thing is, is a, a heat gun. You can get these for as cheap as 13 bucks in Harbor Freight, Amazon, other places, maybe even your um, local hardware store. Uh, and that's about it. So we'll start with a blank piece of Kydex and let's talk about overheating it and then heating it correctly. First thing I'm going to do is turn this thing on high and let it get really warmed up. There it is. And this is what you do not want to do when you're working on your holster, but I want to show you how it works. So we're heat coming along and we're heating this thing on high. And we're, you know, about two inches away from the material. And it's already getting soft, I bet. Yeah, a little bit. And we start slowing down, maybe. And you'll start seeing a shininess show up on this Kydex. And that's the Kydex getting beyond the point of where it needed to be heated right there for instance and that's what you see as a result now when this hardens back up and it will as soon as it cools off the shininess is something you're going to have difficulty getting rid of and may not be able to get rid of and it's known as burn spots usually if you get a holster it has that on it it's kind of like a little burn spot the way you do it though properly once again turn it on high get it heated up the coals and turn it down on the next low setting and do the same thing again. You can work it on one side, preferable to work it on both, but if you don't have access to both sides, you can work it on one side. And less is more. Sometimes you just take your time, carefully work into it until you get it heated up like you want. Already starting to heat up and move around. There we go. That's pretty good. So that's it. And you can see the difference there. And this thing's ready to fold over and do whatever with. And that's how you do it, okay? And that's it for the first segment. Let's move on to another segment. Okay, for this next segment, let's try um, adjusting a holster. So take this XD9 holster, for instance. And let's say you get it. And in this case it's too tight you know and you need to loosen the thing up oftentimes you'll find the injection port may be mushed in a little too much or maybe these trigger guard areas are squeezed in too much that sort of thing so we'll use your heat gun just like before turn it on high get it all warmed up kick it down on low and just hit those areas now if it's got a tension on it you obviously want to back that off completely so that wasn't interfering and let's just work with the back side of the holster for instance back and forth inside outside there it is it's getting there that's usually all I would go, but I'll show you. Turn this off. You can really see my finger pushing up out of there, so it's really plenty. And, you know, you just basically smooth that area out, get rid of the 
indentation that you got smooth it out look at it be sure you're holding against the trigger guard and mag relief that sort of thing and so that's nice and tight again you can use some compressed air or you can just simply blow on it or whatever and help cool it off or once you've got it sitting there for a few moments you can just set it down and let that naturally come to uh, ambient temperature same thing in the opposite it's too tight or rather in this case I guess we'd be needing to tighten it up so we go back let's get it warmed right back up and we're going to need to tighten this up so here we go we'll get that finger relief or the trigger guard area warmed right back up take your weapon Stick it in there, and now holding it against there, now you can start to work an indentation in there for yourself. Not so tight that you cause a problem or interference with the trigger, but just giving you a nice thumb print sort of thing in there, and especially up here on the forward end of the trigger guard might be a good spot. Heat it up too much, and you end up goofing up my tensioner, for instance, in this case, or maybe on your holster if it's a different brand. You get it in there, put some compressed air on it or just blow on it, and there. That's going to tighten up very nicely right there. So that's simply how it's done. Really not much to it. And that's one good example. Another good example might be taking this Glock 40 MOS and let's say, oh, you know, it's got a trigger guard or rather a mag release relief on one side and it doesn't need that you know so let's let's get rid of that one same thing get our gun cranked up there it is and get over here and start relieving that area beating it up side to side nice and easy moving the gun around like you can see me It's already changing shape. You can see it actually doing it. Yeah, it's liking it pretty big. Continue. There it is. Nice and thinned out. Slide your weapon back in. And there you go. You can just push down against it. Just like that. And take that relief for the mag release right out of it. So let's cool this down. Let's, let's say the opposite is in effect. You got the weapon, but hey, I've decided to, you know, change it over to the other side, or I'm a left-handed shooter and I've changed it over to the other side. So then you, you know, I've forgotten to do the mag release relief for you. Um, so you can do it yourself. Same thing again. We'll just heat it right back up. You can already see it moving. Excellent. Doesn't take long. There we go. Just like that. And stick your weapon in. Of course, you're going to have the weapon and you'll be able to have that right there. I don't have that luxury, for instance, on this gun, but I'll just do something like this. Get me a screwdriver, wedgie it in there. Just like that. And it's a little bit more maybe than it needs to be. But that's what I'm trying to do is make sure you have enough room for that. And so there it is. I've added a mag release relief right back on a Glock 40 MOS chest holster. And that's the adjusting of the Kydex. I'm Tom with 2A Holster. Thanks for watching.